Ernie uses a Bosch laser. As you'll see, it's a lot like a plumb bob, but upside down. Instead of looking at the mold seam, he looks at the knee. Skier Justin has had a leg injury, so his left leg is shorter. And as you'll see, Ernie is not only correcting his sole angle, but making adjustments to bring the left hip forward, squaring up Justin's stance and equalizing his weight. Ernie starts by checking the boot cuffs. Let's watch. And I'll use the cuff to try and force the knee one way or the other. Right. That just exacerbates the problem with the alignment. Flex forward towards me. Look straight ahead. Okay. We're going to move the left one all the way in. The right one's good. Come on out. Out of this one first. Okay. So Justin had had a serious injury several years ago. Many shattered years. his many years ago, shattered spiral fractured his lower leg. So we've got not only alignment issue, but a leg shaft discrepancy. We're gonna see if we can help him out. I'm ready for those. shell molded to your foot, that makes a big difference. Plus you got that new foot bed in there now. Hang on to the handle there on the chair or whatever. Lift the heel up, back down. stand with your feet parallel. You just kind of flex into those lightly and let that liner form for a minute. Yep. Stand real tall for me and see if you can flex at the ankle. There we go. Alright, while you're doing that, I'm going to have you take and pull these up a little higher. Just tuck them up or fold them underneath or something. I'm going to mark the center of your patella, which is going to be our guide, if you will, for alignment. Now we're going to square you up on the, and with that left foot because of the way it was set. Yep. It'll feel weird, but I'm going to force that in. I understand. So go ahead and scoot back a little bit on the platform. So I'm going to have you find the width that you like to ski, typically. Yep. And remember, we don't want to be any wider than our hips. Yep. So then we're going to slide forward and have the toes touch the edge of that square for me. Okay, now I'm going to kind of square you up on my own here. Okay. Straight ahead, hands to your side, just relax against the front of the boot. Let the skeleton hold you up, and we'll see where we come out. So there's all kinds. We've got the Kaiser, the Kaiser Soze. Alignment device with the plastic wand. Can't trips and a Bosch line level laser that doesn't lie. So we're going to use that. 
So that one we're under edge, so the right knee is tucked in just a little bit, about a degree. And that one's in as well, plus as you can see, with our trusty square, leg shaft discrepancy because of the injury. So our goal would be to try and bring it out to here to where he's got more equal weight on both feet. So with that, Want to be internet famous? Sure. There you go. Wow. <laughs> So Cantology makes no alignment shim as far as angle goes, but just straight three mil for stacking. So we're going to put this underneath the toe and heel, just kind of square him up a little bit. So, no, oh, sorry. Through this process, try and just keep position and just go like either out or your way in. Got it, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have you elevate the toe first for me. So it's just going to go straight up a little more. Okay. Now elevate the heel straight up a little more. Back down. And if we need to, which we're going to have to, we can actually even put... heel shim internally on the boot board underneath the liner because we're still back a bit so that's what I will do we can put it underneath for now just so you can feel it lift the heel up but that one will go internally in the boot now we're getting you a little more square yeah so you can probably feel that I almost feel human again <laughs> okay so or so on that one. Okay. So I'm going to have you take Justin the right boot. Yep. We're going to tip the boot to the pinky side. Okay. Go ahead and tip it out. Back down. We're going to take the left boot. We're going to tip it to the pinky side as well that way. This one's going to take a little more to get in there because we've got all that stuff there, okay? What does that feel like? It's good. Yeah. I'm going to go a little bit more on that right one. We'll look at it with a two and see how it feels to you. And we could go more on this one. So Yeah, that one doesn't feel... Here, this one feels more normal than this yeah, one I can does. bring this one in a little bit more. Okay. So what we're going to do, because of the tolerances with the screw-on toe and heel boot, mm -hmm. if we're stacking three millimeters of thickness underneath there already before doing any angle for the alignment, we have to be careful because when we go to put this on a machine to route it back to the factory thickness for the binding, it could go into what we call a honeycomb core. So if we're indeed actually going to cant that, we're probably going to end up doing some of the elevation gain, if you will, internally yep. and capture the alignment via the, the yeah, can chin. Yep. Okay, so let's hang tight for a second. I'm going to have you tip that one out. Feel better? Okay. Yep. So that's two degrees. We can go more, but let's just see what that's like. Okay. Like that. Would you throw the level of the laser on that just for uh, photography purposes there? So he could even go a scotch more on that one. So a lot of it just depends on type of skiing they're doing, where we would set them up. Some like to be slightly under edge, so they have a little bit of feather and drift. This one, we could even go more. So you could go two and a half, which is the max that you can do on that boot. Right now, that's two degrees. 
go ahead and check this one out. And it may, it may feel uncomfortable to you to go to two and a half. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, okay, back down. Then we stay at two. Yeah, I'm thinking the two. So sometimes it's kind of, we start getting what the customer's feeling involved in the situation. Yeah. Especially with what we've had trauma-wise on that left side of the body. Let's go back to the two and see how it feels to you. Yeah. It's really hard to tell, but... Well, you'll be able to tell, because when I take it away, you're going to go, whoa. Yeah. I'm leaning to the two. Okay. I'm going to do one more thing on this right one. I'll just tuck it up. That's perfect. Go ahead and tip this one out. Back down. And we'll take it away in a second. Okay. I kind of felt better with it like it was. Yeah, that's about it. A little more stable? Yeah. Okay, there you go. So typically what we'll do, Will, is we'll kind of get them in the zone, if you will. And then for an upper tier skier, we get feedback from them, sensory feedback from the foot to the brain as to what they feel more stable with. Because it, sometimes it's not always that this has to be right on the center mark. Sometimes that could feel too much to an upper tier athlete. Some of the intermediate people, they need it more than an upper tier skier because they can't compensate like an upper tier skier can. So we'll actually do it and not even go into the sensory feedback portion of the equation. Mm -hmm. And so cool. now we're going to take it away. Tip this one out. Back down. Just go ahead and tip this out. Okay, toe up. Toe up. Okay, heel up. So now, if you're filming that, you can see that left hip twist back and see how this leg is completely straight and this one is bent. So we definitely have a leg shaft discrepancy showing up. And now the body lifts to the left and we're not standing flat. So we're kind of unstable. Sure. And then now, because we're unstable, we're not skeletally aligned, the soft tissue is firing, trying to hold us up. And yep. you can probably feel that. So it gets fatigue, you're wear and tear out there on the, the hill all day long, you're gonna end up being more tired and there's more chance for prone for injury if we're not lined up right. Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, have a seat. Cool. You may have noticed that Ernie does his alignment on a carpet surface. Although we didn't talk about this, it does allow the boot to float a little bit, and he has a Kaiser device at the ready for when he needs it. I hope you've enjoyed these videos from Park City. In the next few videos, I'll talk with top instructors and get their take on lateral stance alignment. And boot fitters have not answered all my questions. In fact, they've raised some new ones. So I'll be talking with more of them down the road. I hope you're enjoying Quest for Perfect Stance.